Hey everyone, thanks for joining us. My name is Brian Kaplan with the Bigger Better Biz community where I equip you with the tools and know-how to grow that bigger, better, small business. On today's Blueprint Strategy Session, I'm joined by my good friend, Kim Calvi. Kim, how are you? I'm well today. How are you? I'm doing very well. And I know, Kim, you are, so I want to be careful with my grammar here. Uh, and obviously <laughs> I'm not, but I know that you run a copywriting business and you really mm -hmm. do a lot of content creation. Can you tell us more about Boston Edits? Sure. So Boston Edits um, is it was born of all accumulation of all of my my past work experience, where I was always involved in marketing and and legal and IT and so forth. And what I noticed that. I have a really good knack for creating content for people, just taking their ideas and putting it on paper or a two-dimensional platform like social media and just really using that content for search engine optimization to really refocus their brand to ultimately drive their reputation um, you know, out there you know, on, on the internet and, and, and as they are they can be front runners of as experts in their industry, drive traffic to their website, use search engine optimization and so forth, um, and really promote their brand through content. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. How long have you been doing it? Well, Boston Edits LLC uh, is, is about two and a half years old now, but I've been doing this on the side since about 2002, 2003. Gotcha. Um, but I've been writing for the past 25 plus years. So since you were three years old? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. 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 Before <laughs> kindergarten. I know. Before kindergarten. I love it. You're just like my daughter. So <laughs> today, I know before we press record, we were talking about looking at um, how Google can drive some more traffic to you. So I figured we'll look at Google My Business. And then also, mm -hmm. we want to jump on your website because I'm thinking, you know, if I'm through the lens of, and we both serve the same people, you know, small business owners, people that are mm -hmm. trying to attract new customers or vendors or buyers or whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. How are we going to get them to convert with you? So I figured we'll take a look at your website too. Does that sound good? Yeah, please. Wonderful. So I'm going to share my screen. Okay. And you will see right here. You should be seeing my screen now. And okay. we've got we've got it open. So what I typed in, Fortunately for you, as I was saying, Boston Edits, that's the name of your business, and you chose a unique name, so you're showing up everywhere, which mm -hmm. is great. You've already cornered the market with the brand, which is wonderful. Um, so what we're going to do is we'll just take a look. This is the search engine results page. So someone might be typing in Boston Edits. They might type in copywriter near me or content creation near me. Just for time, we're looking at Boston Edits to see how you show up on SERP. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, now, of course, one thing that you want to be cognizant of is the fact that we want to use other keywords. Now, you already do SEO copywriting, so you know that. You know the keywords mm -hmm. that people are searching for. You know frequently asked questions and terminology that people are using. You're probably already incorporated into your site. But for people watching at home, we just see that Kim's business is showing up again and again and again. So if someone meets you or listens to your podcast, which we'll talk about in a second, or if mm -hmm. they meet you at a networking event, I know you belong to the Newton New, uh, the uh, Newton Needham Chamber, right? Yep. Yep. So, you know, all of those things, they might go and say, oh, well, Boston Edits, they might have your business card, they go on, and now they're going to see all of this cool stuff. So what I like about it is that it's packaged, you have obviously your profile with a chamber, you've got your website up here, your alignable profile. <clears throat> a lot of people don't realize alignable is kind of one of those things people use it or they don't. A lot of small business owners use it and they try to find and kind of bird dog other businesses, but alignable mm -hmm. gives you good SEO. It actually gives you a good listing on the search results. So you did it right here. That's wonderful. We even have videos that you've been in, which is awesome. Yeah. You've had some different interviews. You've been mm -hmm. on a spotlight series. So it's cool mm -hmm. that Google is showing not only the sites, but also the videos. And the fact that you've done all these different types of media is awesome. So it's showing you instead of that two-dimensional you were talking about, multi-dimensional. Mm -hmm. let's, okay. let's take a look at Google My Business. So the one thing I noticed, I got to ask you, did you make a deliberate choice to call it Boston Edits LLC because it's a business and you didn't want it to be confused if someone just typed in Boston Edits? Um, well, not exactly. I, I mean, I like the name Boston Edits. And the reason I showed us Boston Edits was exactly what you were just saying. If somebody types in edits, editing near me or editor in Boston because of search engine optimization that you know, those are similar sounding words right with boolean search mm -hmm. or whatever so I figured I would come up that way 
the LLC is basically because I wanted to, I wanted to, for tax purposes and also for legitimacy, like I didn't want to just call my business Boston edits and have people think that I just have a shingle out my front yard and that's it. No, this is a legitimate business. I pay taxes the whole bit, yep. you know, um, yep. I'm registered with the department of corporations. It, this is a legitimate enterprise. And so I wanted to, um, you know, just strengthen my presence that way because of it. Got it. And I think that's a really good point, though, and that I, I brought it up for a reason. You're using it for perception purposes and to show that you're an established, legitimate business. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, some people don't, other businesses don't have to do that. So if they had a name like, you know, Raise Pizza, it could just be Raise Pizza. They don't have to show their LLC. Right. I totally get why you did it. And it makes sense in your, especially in your profession, because there's a lot of gig economy people where they're like, yeah, I'm a copywriter. You're established. So that's great. Mm -hmm. Now, notice we've got four reviews. We definitely want to pick those up. We'll click on those in a second. Um, you have business to business service. So you can choose different categories. And I haven't done it because I haven't created a profile for a copywriter or content creator. Creator, Is mm -hmm. there that category by chance that you, have you looked into it at all? I have not. Or okay. if I haven't, it's been a while. And the reason I ask, there's no published list of categories. Google's always changing. What I'd um, say is number one, look at that and see if you can change it to copywriter, content writer, or something like that, because that okay. would also help you, right? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> then we've got your address. So you have an office space, Crown Colony Drive in Quincy. That used to be mm -hmm. where my doctor was. So oh, cool. Yeah. So yeah. So you've got the office there. Yeah. Uh, let's check your hours. Wonderful. You've got your hours established. And also just to note, if you're ever away, there's something, I can't jump into your, your dashboard, but on your dashboard, you can add in holiday hours if you're ever closed, if someone reaches out. Mm -hmm. So proactively do that. Mm -hmm. Questions. So this is something you'll enjoy, you'll actually like, and this is something that can help your clients as well. What happens is with Google My Business, Google, when you jump into the Google My Business dashboard, it says nothing about Q&A. No questions and answers section. This only shows up on your profile on the search engine results page. <clears throat> but to give you an idea, I could click on ask a question and I could say, mm -hmm. do you offer SEO services for small businesses? Now, of course, that's a loaded question. I put in some keywords for you, but I could post yep. it. Mm -hmm. Now it's going to show up. If I, re if I refresh, mm -hmm. we're going to see down below one question written by me. Do you offer SEO services for small businesses? You can mm -hmm. then go in as the business owner and answer that. Oh, People can okay. come in and they can actually vote on it and like it. So mm. this is actually, this is a signal that's kind of like a, a hidden neglected signal on mm. Google My Business that a lot of people don't know about. The other thing is you too can just go and search for yourself and you can mm -hmm. add in your own questions. So you can yeah. ask the question and answer it. Oh, so, all right. For SEO purposes, I would say like, hey, what do you do? What services do you offer? Oh, we offer XYZ services. You can learn more at bostonethis.com. Okay. So definitely try to fill in um, anywhere from five to 10 questions. And really? Those could be, All right. Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay. Obviously, and the thing that's going to happen is over time, people may click on that. They might like a question or they might look at a certain question. Mm -hmm. uh, again, it's, it's unknown how it works, but Google might show certain questions as trending. If you I see. Have, yep. So you want to use that. Okay. Uh, from Boston Edits. So this is, is this the description you wrote for Boston yeah. Edits? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we, we actually were talking about before I press record your LinkedIn profile and how you're doing something different and creative, right? You're not using it mm -hmm. like a resume. Instead, you're right. using it like a funnel or like a sales copy page. I would do that here mm -hmm. too. You've got up to right. 750 characters. Um, okay. It's more so, it's for a business owner. There's no SEO value in your business description. You can't just load it with keywords, but it's more so for the okay. small business owner that finds you. It's like, like do you, are you having trouble to figure out what you want to write on your website? I'm not going to tell you because you're the wordsmith, but you know what I mean. Yes, so, I do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Pop that in. And then okay. updates. So updates are your posts. Mm -hmm. And when you go into your Google My Business dashboard, or if you have the mobile app, you can mm -hmm. create updates. Here's the thing. When Google My Business is looking at different businesses and figuring out why it would show your business over someone else's, it's going to look mm -hmm. at different signals. 
So one of those signals is questions and answers. Another one is reviews. Another one might be if you respond to the reviews. This is also one of the highest ranked signals, updating posts. Really? Yep. Okay, good to know. So, so what you're doing is when you jump to google.com slash business, you're actually able to update a post. You're able to create a post. Or if you log in on the app, you're able to upload a post. What you're doing is signaling huh. to Google that you're an active business and that you care about okay. your profile. Okay. So rule of thumb, once a week. Once a week. Um, All right. Okay. So I notice you use like a stock image, which is fine. See the latest article <clears throat> and you mm -hmm. can see it right here. That's good. The other thing you can do is on a post, you could do a video. You could do an image, mm -hmm. do either mm -hmm. or image or photo okay. or image or video. And also you added the link here, but on yeah. some of them, you'll actually see that you, when you create a post, you can add a button. So you can actually have a call to action button that says, learn more, read now. You want to use that button and add that link in the button. Huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. And I, Thank you. Ideas for posts. Of course, you want to showcase your work. Uh, you might have yeah. something. I know that for you, you know, you have the communication commandments and obviously you're looking mm -hmm. at grammar all the time. People need to learn about these things. So it could mm -hmm. be as simple as like, what's the history of the ampersand or why do we use commas mm -hmm. or something like that? Quick 30 second video. Now it's mm -hmm. establishing more kind of personality and mm -hmm. it's filling up space and creating content on Google. Okay. All right. Okay. So there you go. Now right. I'm just going to, I saved the best for last reviews. Reviews are definitely one okay. of the most important things, right? They're the lifeblood of our business. You yeah. probably get a lot of referrals from the chamber. You have word of mouth. Uh, this mm -hmm. is digital currency, just like a Dogecoin for small business, right? So okay. right here, we've got four reviews mm -hmm. and we have one from Rick, who I'm familiar with. He's mm -hmm. a realtor, right? Rick Kamolka. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. A year ago, Kimberly is a consummate professional. Awesome. Now here's the thing. Your response to the review also carries SEO value. And mm -hmm. You can say, hey, you know, it was great. Some uh, we, you know, it was great working with you on developing your blog or building a landing page. So what I would do is in your response, mention whatever service you offer. And okay. also, yep. you might still be working with Rick, but this is more so there's a strategy behind it. Uh, mm -hmm. You want to upsell. So hey, if you're if you ever start thinking about sending out emails, we write email copy too. Mm. So People are seeing this five-star review. They're like, wow, Rick gave her a good review. And now they're seeing your response and they're seeing the other service that you're spotlighting. Perfect. Okay. Yep. All right. For you, of course, these are from a year ago. What I would love to see you do, go out and get, try to shoot for 10 reviews by the end okay. of June. 10 reviews by the end okay. of June. Uh, and then look at it as a drip feed. Just like you're popping mm -hmm. in an IV to your arm try to be getting two to three new reviews each month. Okay. Okay. All so right. it's, it's that old adage, keep your gunpowder dry. Uh, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to spray and pray. You don't want all of them at once because then it looks like, yeah. Oh, Kim just asked all of her friends at the same time. We want to mm. drip feed it. That's another actual signal to Google my business that you're continuing to provide services. Okay. All right. And makes sense. It may, for you, it might just be because of your business category. I'm not seeing photos. Um, I don't know. Let me click on the map if it just brings me to the map. So I'm not seeing any photos for you. Okay. Okay. So, there's no photos. So you right. have the ability to add your logo. You can also mm -hmm. add a cover photo, which mm -hmm. uh, is, is a good thing. It's, it's, you know, it's going to be a banner about this big. So mm -hmm. it's going to be 16 by nine, like a, um, if you're watching a movie kind of thing mm -hmm. and okay. you want to do that, but you can also add photos or images up to your business album. So it's different than the posts. The post is going to live for seven days and I can always see those. I can click and go see your updates. Right. Yeah. But okay. The, so let me go back and we'll see where those show up right here. View previous updates. Mm -hmm. But the business album lives in perpetuity. It's always there. People can click on it. And a lot of small business owners, especially if they're going to get into bed with you, they want to make sure that they are choosing someone that might be giving them advice, might have uh, photos. Like it could just even be literally a photo of a printout of an article you did. It could be an image you create on Canva 
that talks about mm -hmm. the the uh, history of an ampersand or something. It could okay. just be a grammatical rule that you're sharing or common misspellings. So all of those mm -hmm. things, just yeah. other content, photos, again, another way for Google to, to basically signal that you're active. Okay. So you okay. want to add those two. Those right. things, if you do those things, I'm very confident that you're going to see a, a boost when people are searching for your type of business, especially if you can change the business category from business to business service to copywriter. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, I will do that. That'll be the first thing. Here's a question. So when you said Please. that I can post like a photo, um, mm -hmm. like sometimes I find, you know, without having to like reinvent the wheel, I'll find a funny meme, you know? Mm -hmm like on social media, like Instagram or Facebook or whatever. Um, you know, because on Facebook, for example, I belong to a couple of groups that are, you know, for writers. And yep. somebody will post a meme about some kind of grammar rule or something, something like that. You know, can I, can I do, can I post something like that in the photo album? Or you, you can, the, the only thing that I'll um, kind of, I mean, it's a really uh, good one. No, no, no. Memes are fine. Memes are fine. The only caveat there is that it's not necessarily your IP, your intellectual property. So you got to be right. careful. What yeah. I do is like, let's say that I'm going through an Instagram feed and I see a really good post. I'll go recreate it in Canva and then put it oh. up. That really? way it has your, okay. yeah, it has your branding on it too. So like, let's okay. say there, 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 right? Mm -hmm. How people screw it up all mm -hmm. the time. Yeah, you, mm. you just, you just, yep. Mm -hmm. mm. I bet I just boiled your blood. So that's <laughs> one right there. And then you put the little Boston Edits logo at the bottom. So now you have branding on it. I'd much rather you do that so that you get the brand equity out of it too. Got it. All right. Yeah. Okay. But definitely good. All memes right. memes are great. You just got to be careful because okay. that one meme creator is going to come back to you and say, uh-uh. Like the, right. uh, for instance, you know, the Bernie mittens when he was wearing the mittens and he was like this, oh, Bernie, yeah, Bernie yeah, Sanders. Yeah. So yeah. my wife, my wife and I last year created uh, an Etsy shop for masks and we used the Bernie mm -hmm. mittens and we put it on a mask. And then before uh -huh. you know it, Associated Press came after us or Reuters or one of those and said, uh-uh, that's our photo. So even though it's a oh. meme and it's in pop culture, the, uh, the IP holder is going to come and give Somebody you some assist. Yeah. All right. Okay. Any other all questions right. about Google My Business before we jump to your website? No, no, that was, that was all good. Good. Okay. All right. Awesome. I know what I need to do. Great. Thank you. Cool. Let's go to Boston edits. So okay. walk me through the website a little bit. What was your dream or your okay. vision when you created the site? Um, I wanted something that was um, clean. Like if, if it, one thing I can't stand are busy websites. Like you, you come to the landing page and it's like, it's like all this text all at once. I've seen that so many times um, with one particular industry and it drives me up the wall. It's kind of like telling your entire life story on a first date. It's like, okay, well, now there's no mystery left. Why should I bother? So I didn't want that number one. I wanted something very clean. I wanted it to the point like, you know, like you come to my website and the landing page, okay, that's my logo. And it's pretty clear, you know, that I'm not selling widgets. Um, and then above it, copywriting, social media management, additional content services. And that's all, honestly all the space I had for that particular line because um, yep. I do so much more. Um, but I wanted to, I, I didn't want, again, put everything on the, on the landing page and then people be like, okay, well, I don't need to do any more exploring. So just yep. enough to draw people in. Cause I okay. even say that to my own clients, you know, like when I develop a website for them, it's like, okay, we've got to, you know, be careful about where we place things. Right. Sure. Um, so uh, like, for example, though, this new service announcement, okay. It's still fairly new. Um, Cause I did launch the podcast in December. It's exciting. It's that's, it's, congratulations. Muscle tough. That's exciting yeah. stuff. You should be proud yeah, of that. Thanks. It's a lot of, yeah. yeah, I am. Thanks. Yeah. It's a lot of fun too. It's a lot of work, but it's good. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, it's all good. Do you know what I mean? It's like, if you know, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. Right. So, mm -hmm. um, so this will come down eventually, but it's still kind of new. Um, you know, and, and it does take, you know, somebody clicks on it. You know, what does it say? Learn more down there. I don't even know. I'm, I'm Find out more. There. Find out, out more. There it goes. Mm -hmm. so if you click on that, it'll take you to the podcast page. Um, yeah, there we go. So there, there it is. There's, well, this is the, um, you know, the, this is the, the this is the page. Yeah. This is the announcement at the top of my areas of expertise. And I, so, I itemize it this way you know, in terms of, you know, and I, I, I differentiate because I do a lot. It's not mm -hmm. just, I write, you know, snazzy copy for people, but I kind of wanted to start bare bones. Like, okay, well, what's the, what's the base 
basis of my company, right? Well, it's search engine optimization, copywriting, line editing, copy editing, and proofreading, and those, those are all different. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, the copywriting is different from proofreading. Uh, you know, some people think it's the same and they're dead wrong, but anyway. Yep. Um, and, you know, but then like people will say, well, what do you do with all that content? Like, do you do ads? Well, no, I don't write magazine ads. Um, I mean, I suppose I could, but that's not really what I do. I mostly write a narrative, right? Mm -hmm. um, so it'll be for somebody's blog, be you know, website content. Like I've got clients that they've got really old websites and so they want to trash that one and they want to start from scratch. And especially because I work with a lot of attorneys, over time, their practice may have morphed, you know, like yeah. they they might have started with a particular practice area or two or three practice areas, I should say. Now they focus just on one. So they really, mm -hmm. you know, so I create new website content for that. All right. Plus I also build out the website. And then a lot of them will say, you did such a great job. Just manage my website for me because I'm too busy practicing law. Like, it's okay, best. okay, fine. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. But I do that for other types of clients too. You know, other B2B, like other types of consultants. Got and it. then the pandemic last year, you know, that really brought to the fore the whole blogs, you know, a lot of people were like, well, you know, I've got to pivot, right? Um, you know, they were a lot of my clients said that they were trying to, okay, well, how can I navigate this pandemic so I can still service my clients, my customers, uh, you know, in within the confines of this pandemic? Okay, well, sure. let's talk about that. So it just kind of that's how the blogs came up. Um, and then we post to LinkedIn, you know, as articles, I manage that editorial calendar, that kind of that's kind of a ancillary to these yeah. blogs and LinkedIn articles because it's a, it's a scheduling thing, you know, yep. um, and then self-publishing books, um, you know, working with a couple of authors that last year they had a lot of time and okay, they've got their manuscripts and now they need someone to copy edit it because they wrote good books, nonfiction, I don't do fiction, um, but they need someone with clear eyes to go through it and, you know, pick through it basically. And that's what I'm doing. Yep. Um, and then, but I got my career started in IT writing white papers and case studies and executive summaries. So I had to throw that in there um, because I do know how to do that. I mean, that's like being thrown into the deep end of the pool, um, you know, when well, I yeah. started writing and I had to learn and that's what I did. So I have done that, not in a long time, but I know how to do it. Um, and that's a labor intensive research project. I mean, it's basically a term paper on steroids, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, um, yeah, and I've been part of book reviews where somebody will say, well, I've already published the book, but I need a group of people to read it with a critical eye, you know, and talk about what they thought of the book and, you know, the subject matter, whatever, whatever part they need me to play. Um, so I've done that. And then the last part, social media management, people's mm -hmm. Facebook posts, their LinkedIn posts, um, not a lot with Twitter, but sometimes um, and then a couple of people have approached me to write press releases, which I know how to do as well. I mean, yep. that that's a different type of document from a, a blog or a, you know, a, a letter. There's a setup to that. There's a particular layout. There's, you know, a way to write it. Um, so I've done that before too. And then marketing collateral, somebody's asked me to proofread their, you know, their new brochure. You know, it's yep. their, they need to, you know, they've revamped it. Can I look at it and, you know, make sure that, you know, literally all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. So, so it's a lot. Um, I do yeah, any, anything that's content related. Quite the cadre of services. And I think, you know, one thing that, that I'll tell you right away, right? Mm -hmm. So you have two clients, you have the actual business owner, and then you mm -hmm. have an agency owner like myself, who's looking to sub out and work with someone like you, right? So that you're mm -hmm. accomplished. I'll mm -hmm. tell you a couple of things right away. Mm -hmm. So let's just go back to the home. The first thing is, if you can, I would try to get this up, up higher. I would okay. love to see this new service announcement. I want it to be right in my face. Ideally, you would have this in the header of the website itself, but just make this, this logo smaller because you want them, we want them to do something right away. Now it could be new service announcement, but of course it was from December, 2020. So maybe it's mm -hmm. like learn on the go or like learn copywriting on the go or become a better copywriter, find out more, right? So- mm -hmm. Whatever it mm -hmm. is, you, you work the wordsmithing. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> now, when I click on find out more, I get it that you're sending me to your services page. What I'd love to see and what you are very, very familiar with is some sort of table or, of contents or some sort of quick links where I can shoot down to each of these different sections. Yeah. Okay. I'd mm -hmm. love to see that. Okay. So you can create little uh, link anchors, you, you know, text anchors where you can pop them in so that I can shoot down to each of those things. 
The other thing, mm-hmm. okay. and I'm, I'm coming from a, an agency standpoint, but let's say that I put on the, the hat of my, you probably have seen her buses. Dakota Riley is one of my good friends and, and mm-hmm. longtime clients. She's on all the back one of, of the buses. Friends too. There you go. Yeah. So, yeah. so D- Dakota and I have been friends forever and that's cool that you're friends with her too. And, um, you know, one of the things is we're always, uh, I'm thinking about her. We're looking at press releases. We're looking at all those things. I want to mm-hmm. see, I'd love to see samples of your work right here. So link to it. But one of the big things that Google, you know, says is we should have text links on here, or at least show me like, have a, have a thumbnail so that I can click and it opens a new window or tab and shows mm-hmm. me your work. I'd love to see it from my end because it saves me time. Someone mm-hmm. like her, a real estate agent or a lawyer who has no time at all, they just right. want to go quickly, do their due diligence, click, click, see something and be like, okay, I'm going to call her. I'll have my admin call her. Right. So mm-hmm. I would just say mm-hmm. those things are probably going to help you. The other thing is okay. if we're pushing the podcast, I mean, mm-hmm. send them to the services page, have, have it be, and I, I get that you're paying credence to David Yass and the Boston pod, podcast network. I want to link, mm-hmm. right? So this, this doesn't, it, it's probably links to the podcast. It does, but I want like a button or something that says, listen to the podcast now open okay. in, in Apple iTunes or whatever. Okay. Right? Just mm-hmm. those little things, because you got to think, I always think about the business owner that's just getting started that may have heard about podcasts and they're all in, but they don't know what to do or where to click. So okay. lowest common denominator. Um, okay. Otherwise, I mean, I see your portfolio, of course, you show the stuff, which mm-hmm. is great. That's just where I want to see exactly. I, I, again, I think of the, the weakest link and are they going to click to that or are they going to expect that you, cl- you link to it? So you're mm-hmm. doing the work okay. for them. That's okay. all. And okay. I know you do good work. I've seen your work and I, I think you're thank absolutely you. wonderful. So oh, thank you. Of Likewise. course. And I love that, you know, I love that we've got the podcast page and you break it up. I was actually listening to Leon marketing, which I thought was, oh, cool. Yeah. that was awesome. Mm-hmm. And I know that you've got more cooking and podcasts, man, that's, that is an investment of time. That's a mm-hmm. labor of love. I, I don't, mm-hmm. I know. So yes, you do yeah. know. Yep. So mm-hmm. you definitely want to get the most out of it. Um, media appearances, which is really cool because it shows it, it's building this, this perception of value, right. That, mm-hmm. that value ladder. And it also mm-hmm. makes you, it makes you a local celebrity. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'll give yeah. you a, an easy example where actually we got bamboozled, but my wife and I were going to buy a house in Port St. Lucie. We we're going to build a new house in Florida. Mm-hmm. And we went on the site, we, we saw the company and they had this video where it was this guy, Adam, and he's showing you around and everything. And then we walk in the office and of course the office, they're like, do you want a snack? Do you want this? We're going to take your firstborn. So the, the <laughs> he's, I see the guy walk out of his office and I'm like, oh, you're Adam from the video. I was like, oh my goodness. Did I really just do that? Did I fanboy? But that's the kind of thing when they see this, you're establishing yeah. your thought leadership. I love that you're doing it. Oh, I would thanks. even, I would even say just for you, just to make it a little bit multimedia, I mm-hmm. would try to pop a video on the front page somewhere. Oh. I know you don't like having too much, mm-hmm. but give them some options here. Find out more. Great. See Kim's latest mm-hmm. media appearance read Kim's latest blog post or whatever else. Just give them a few options, especially if someone's doing it on the phone, give them some things to click. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Yeah, that that right, interactivity that. from, from a marketing like psychology background and, and the research, mm-hmm. then making that one little micro commitment just leads to the next one and the next one. They've already, you know, crossed that chasm of trusting you a little bit more. So if we can give them some mm-hmm. ways to trust you and interact with you, all the better. Okay, very good. All right. Well, thank you. I have to tell you a funny story about that local celebrity. So we moved, um, we bought a place and we moved in the beginning of October. And two of the guys that helped us move, they were, you know, college students and you know, taking a break, I guess, from school because it was the beginning of October. I don't really know what they were doing. But anyway, it was a weekend move. And one of them came in, took a look at me, and he's like, you're Boston Edits, aren't you? And I'm like, yeah, how'd you do that? And he's like, well, he's like, I go to Emerson, and we were taking you know, one of my marketing classes, and we were looking at websites. I'm like, oh, all right, thanks. Okay. There it is. There it I is. I know, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, okay. Was, that's, my brother... It. My brother went to Emerson too. That's a great school. So that's really cool that you're being shown in the, the classrooms of Emerson. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, wow, all right. So there, so I'd like some royalties and, from that, but anyway. Right. 
but even but imagine this now someone comes on and they see your face because you you obviously you have photos you got great headshot and everything but i'd love to see a video of you so i can get to know you a little bit better like you trust mm. you and, and ultimately want to work with you okay yeah. okay all right Is good suggestions any, all right of, of course i know you build websites and everything else but are there any questions uh, aside from what I covered, like anything that you want to look at really quick before we end our session? No, I think that that's it. That's, that's a lot. Um, okay. And it's all good. And I'm going to do all of it. Um, you know, certainly make sure I carve out some time because that's the thing. I mean, I always, I always say to my clients, you know, we always have to make sure that we stay active because, you know, Google, you know, we want Google to think that we're dead. Um, you know, so I have to, you know, practice Change what I up. preach too. And that was the yep. thing. I mean, it's like, it's it's the cobbler you know, it's like you live in- whose kids have no shoes. Trust me, I know. I, it's right, that, exactly. I'm the same way. You're always working yeah. for everybody else. Yeah. I totally get it. Yeah. And yeah. Honestly, yeah. I bet knowing that you have that background, you could probably accomplish most of those things in a few hours, maybe three oh, hours yeah. and get it done. Yeah. 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 Based on what you're telling me, yeah, it's like I can put in a long Saturday morning or something. And yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. A couple cups of coffee yeah. and you're good. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. A couple of red eyes. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's totally fine. Right. But no, it makes sense. I, I agree with everything that you said. So, uh, which is incredibly helpful. Um, and that's the thing, honestly, Brian, sometimes I just need to hear it from somebody else. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like, okay, well, I, I know what I, th- mm-hmm. yeah, right. Yeah. Fresh yeah, set of exactly. eyes. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's why right. I that's always... why people hire me. But... Exactly. And I always show it things to my wife and I'm because, mm-hmm. you know, that's, that's my mark. That's like a small business owner right there. She's got the, the mind of an entrepreneur. I'm like, how does this, does this make sense? She's like, nah, it's a little confusing. So I might mm-hmm. spend an hour recording a video and then I show her, she's like, Mm-mm. yeah, you know, like, oh, you're not mm-hmm. smiling there. I'm like, oh God, it's because it was my 20th take, but yeah, good. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, Your muscles this was, are sore. I know. Yeah. My teeth um, are getting dry. Take the picture. Like literally, just <laughs> hold on a second. Here, there we go. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really you glad. You can lean on the teeth of cheerleaders, you know, so that they, can, they always smile. Do they really? Yeah, I read that a long time ago somewhere that, yeah, for cheerleaders, they put Vaseline on their teeth. Wow. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. I know, right? We have Aquaphor, so maybe maybe I'll try that when I go on a, a long webinar or something. And see, because right? I definitely feel it after a while. I got my water and I just like sneak my little drink of water while I'm in the middle of a webinar. Uh, So I just want to give you a plug again. Everybody can learn more about you by going to bostonedits.com. You'll be hearing from me because I'd love to collaborate on some stuff as we get moving with our clients because we do a lot of the digital stuff, but you know, copywriting is definitely something that we want to have some vetted partners. And uh, I just want to thank you again for your time. Thank you very much for your time. I genuinely appreciate it. I really do. Thanks, My pleasure. Brian. Yeah, this is great. This is incredibly, this is so, totally worthwhile. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Really appreciate it. To everyone watching, you can obviously jump in on a Blueprint Strategy session. You can go to briancaplin.com slash go. I'll put the URL right here. And obviously, feel free to join our free marketing community. It's briancaplin.com slash join. Uh, until next time, I hope you stay well, stay healthy, stay happy, and here's to your success. <music>